Hello! Are you wanting to create cards recipients will love? Well, welcome to the scrapbook.com Love Shack. All right, friends, we're so happy you're here for our live live stream. Let me show you today's deal we have for this live stream. It's gorgeous. This is our Love You bundle. In it, you're getting some big items. You're getting the six by eight new pinks paper pad. Look at all these gorgeous monochromatic pinks. You're also getting this large six by eight stamp set. Look at how pretty this is. So many beautiful things in this one stamp set. I can't wait to show you and jump into a fun card that we're gonna make together. Then you're also getting a coordinating die. That's right, this die coordinates with this stamp set. And then last but not least is our pretty pink glitter brush. Our glitter brushes have taken the world by storm and we're so excited to offer this pretty one in this bundle today to give you a little try. If you haven't tried them yet, it is fabulous. All right, <clears throat> I bet you're wondering how much this costs. The MSRP on this large bundle is $73, but right now you can get it for $34.99. This deal is available for limited time only or while supplies last, so make sure you grab it. And I also want to mention that this die right here coordinates with the stamp and it can also be used on its own. So $34.99. All right. Don't forget the paper pad too. The paper pad. Yeah. It's included, yeah. Yes, this, all of this, all of this for $34.99. We've got the paper pad, the coordinating die, the stamp, and our pretty pink glitter brush. Okay, I see some fun friends here. Angelica's here. Hello, Teresa, Bethany, Suzette. <clears throat> Thank you, Haley. Isn't this shirt fun? It's Love Shack at scrapbook.com. We're having some fun. Okay, I'm going to sit down to craft with you all. We're going to make some fun cards. I want to first show you some of the cards I made with this bundle. So I'll have Cody switch over to the overhead. We're going to put this bundle aside. <clears throat> this is the card we're going to make together today. We're going to use some of that glitter brush to create a beautiful background for our card. This is some of the beautiful items that come in the stamp set, this heart balloon. Happy Valentine's Day. But I do want to mention this set is not just for Valentine's. There's a lot of other sentiments in this stamp set that you can use that are not just for Valentine's. <clears throat> Thank you, Elaine. <laughs> and my earrings. She, she saw my earrings. I love it. Yes, aren't those fun? I thought they matched my shirt perfectly. I've had these earrings for a long time and I love them so much. A little loud with my colors today, but that's okay, right? It's love time, it's love month. All right, so we've got this card with the balloons and then let's see what else did I make. This one right here is using all of the pinks from the pink paper pad, like a monochromatic style and I'll show you how I made that in just a bit as well. Look how pretty that is. Love all the colors in this pinks paper pad. <clears throat> Thank you, sweet lady. Hello from New York. We have friends from all over the world. Glendale, Arizona, that's our neighbor. It sounds like it's snowing in lots of places that you all are at as well. It's a little bit cloudy here. We'll see if we get some rain. And then look at this card. This is using the, where's my die at? This is using the XOXO out of the die set all over to create a pattern in the background. And this sentiment is honestly one of my favorites. Hope your heart is happy today. I love that. I actually want to give this to someone that I know just lost somebody very special in their life. So I think that sentiment is perfect to use for something like that. So I'm going to use that for that. Okay. What else have I got up here? Here's one last card. This cute card using the little hearts. There are little heart dies in this set, three different sizes, but they also coordinate with these cute stamps. Do you remember those? Well, not remember, they're still available. Those candies, what are they called? The conversation hearts. Conversation hearts, the little, I keep wanting to call them sweet hearts. Are they? No, sweet hearts. Yeah, yeah. Okay, help me out. <laughs> they are those candy conversation hearts for Valentine's Day, but we have some here that you can stamp with a solid color behind it. But if you didn't want to do that at all, you can just cut out the heart and use that. And I did a stitched pattern right in the middle of those. Look how cute that is. And then the stamp that comes in here, love you so much. All right, let's jump into our card that we're going to make together. <clears throat> we're going to make this card. I'm going to move things off of my table. Oh, I've got this card too. This is that huge love. I stamped it in black and then used the die to cut out the background. And then I cut it again 
So you've got two pieces here for the love, the outer back side and then the inner, plus you've got the stamp. So I stamped it in black, then cut out the whole outline and then cut it again in white and layered it over that black to give a shadow and look how cool that looks. I love that look. Lots of different things you can do with this set. <clears throat> and I can't wait to show you what we have in the gallery too. Really pretty things that others have made using this collection. Okay. First things first, we're going to make this card. So I'm going to get out my paper and everything I need here in my stack and sort tray. So first things first, I've got a piece of white cardstock and I want to show you the edge of this cardstock with the close up camera. <clears throat> Look at that. This is our stitched pattern dies. I love these very much. They create that stitch pattern on the edge of your um, cards or paper crafting projects. If you don't have a sewing machine or you don't have time to stitch, this is such a quick way to add a little bit of stitching detail and I love it so much. And I used this end one, which is like these funky whimsical X's and I just did it on all the edges of my paper here. And I cut this paper down a little bit. I think it's a, um, I cut an eighth of an inch off of each corner um, of my A2 card, but I just wanna show that, it's so pretty. So if you're looking for a way to create some stitch detail, look at all these different patterns of stitches. This is a great die to grab. Okay, and they're long and skinny. So you just, let me show you what I did. So when I took my cutting plate, my magic mat here, I just put my paper down and then I laid this on the edge of each of my um, sides of my card and then just ran it through my die cutting machine like that. And it created this beautiful stitching pattern. So one of my favorites, just thought I would share that with you to show you what I did to add a little interest to the edges of my, my card here. So I'll put that aside. We already did that one. So now I need to do some inking. We're gonna get a little bit dirty. I need to grab <clears throat> this mat. I'm gonna get out my extra large, actually I have to clear my table here to make room for this. Let's put some of these back. Okay, this mat that I'm pulling out right now, this is our extra large Project Grip black mat. What's the size of this? Again, I think it's 24, Four by 18. 19 by 18. Someone will grab it for me in a second. <laughs> okay, but this mat right now you can get for free with 60, is it $65 purchase yeah. on our website, which is easy to do at scrapbook.com, but you can get this Project Grip mat for free. And one of the things that I love about this mat is it's silicone, and so it's easy to clean up. You can make a mess. I love that it's black, so you don't see the staining of your inks and stuff, and it holds your ink pads down. So look, I've got this down on my table, and it is not moving. It's gripped it, and it's holding it down. You could cut these up. It, oh, did you hear that suction? That was awesome. Let's it's 24 by 18. 24 by 18. Thank you, TK. Okay, well, I, let me see if do some ASMR. Let's see if you can catch it. Did you hear that? Kind of? <laughs> All right, I'll stop there. I'm not an ASMR queen. <laughs> I tried, friends. I tried. Okay, Angelica is telling us she uses her mat for mixed media projects. Yes, and it cleans up perfectly. The grip is what I need. Yes, same. My ink pads like to travel across the table, Alyssa. So, Right here, it holds it down. And I love that if you didn't want this big of a space, you could cut this up and use like a strip for all just of your, just your ink pads like that. But we're gonna use it to get messy today. So I'm gonna roll up my sleeves. Here we go, we're getting to work. And I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna actually use the pink, the pretty pink glitter brush that comes in this bundle. And I'm gonna use our red brush as well. And we're just gonna take, let me grab my card so I can have it here to show you what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna take the pink and we're gonna just scribble across the top left corner and kind of make a diagonal down to the center. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the red to this corner. And we're gonna mix them right in the middle. So what I like to do is squeeze a little bit out first, get it really juicy, grab all that pretty pink glitter. And then I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna start small and then go a little bigger. And we'll do this a few times to get the look that we want. And I want it a little bit darker. If you haven't tried these glitter brushes, these are awesome. And a little birdie told me that there's gonna be some used in the SBC Fest. 
Right, Cody? Yeah, word on the street. Word on the street. Someone asked how easy that mat is to clean. So easy. I mean, how do you describe how easy it is? It literally takes, I just use Lysol wet wipes. Oh, missing. Lysol wet, <laughs> my wet wipes are I've walked away. See that? Things walk away always. That's awesome. That's the best part about crafting. Just got to know where everything is and have a perfect place for it. Otherwise you lose it. Okay, so um, I just use wet wipes or a microfiber cloth and it cleans up so nicely. And sometimes I will take it to my kitchen sink and just give it a good wash, especially if I've got cloud whip on it or some sort of other thicker mixed medium paste. I'll take it into my kitchen, use some um, Dawn soap. Dawn gets everything out, grease, including crafting mixed media products, gets it out great. I wash it, let it dry, and it is ready to go brand new again. All right, so we've got our pink scribble there. Now I'm gonna add some red. Now this is a little bit darker of a color, so I wanna be a little careful. So I'm gonna squeeze out some red over here and then we're gonna just mix it and we're gonna do the same thing and keep scribbling. Get a bunch of that red on there and that glitter. And I don't mind that I'm going down into the corner to show a little bit of the stitching. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna just mix them here in the center where the two colors meet. Love that. If you wanted to add some water as well, you could to dilute it a little bit, but I like the saturation of the dark color. So I'm just gonna do that. And this is just for our background, for our XOXO that we're gonna put right in the center. All right, now let's take our heat gun I'm gonna grab the heat tool and we're just gonna heat it up to dry it and push that that um, liquid around a little bit so we'll just go like this we're gonna dry that the people are asking if the glitter pens come in a brush set they currently do not but that is a great idea and I think we should do that I think we should have some in sets, especially like the red and pink like this. And maybe like the clear glitter with it. Look how pretty that is. I am not a, an artist per se with painting and I feel like this is really pretty. And all I did is, as you saw, is I just stroked that glitter brush across just to scribble to create this pretty background. Easy. Someone asked if you can use it without like putting it on your mat first. Can you use it straight from the brush? Yes, it's you can use it straight from the brush. Yes. Didn't we have somebody show us that? Was that Lisa Mears? Who last did, week. Yeah. Last week in our live stream she did. She went straight on the paper and she blotched it with a paper towel. So check out our live stream from last week too to get some more ideas with these glitter brushes. Lisa Mears did a beautiful, the dark blue. Yeah, and then gorgeous. she did a whole video with seven different ways to use the glitter brushes. Yeah. Look, it didn't even go through my paper. That's how great this mixed media paper. By the way, this is our mixed media paper, the A2 size, brand new. We released last week in our live stream. And it is awesome for mixed media projects like this. Well, that's drying. Can you show the... Uh, stitch border dies again. Yes, and, and I'm gonna do that in a second. Can I get the um, acrylic blocks again? I want to flatten this guy out. And I'm gonna use the acrylic block to do it. I think he's pretty dry. It dries fairly quick, as you can see. I want to do just the center here where I have it saturated. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, let's take this. I'm gonna put him over here. I need to clean this up. Did we get the Lysol wipes? Did we found them. <gasps> they have returned. Thank you. All right, let me clean up. Let me show you how fast this uh, mat cleans up. I'm just gonna take my wet wipe and wipe it up. Now, because it's silicone, the water's beating up on there, so I would just take a paper towel and wipe it dry. And just like that, clean, ready to go for my next project. This is free right now. This mat is free with a $65 purchase. So if you're spending more than $65 today at scrapbook.com, make sure you add this mat. I promise you will not be disappointed. It's, it's a go-to and we have it in black, 
which is, what did we say it was, 18 by 24? 18 by 24 size. So it's a good big size for your workspace. Okay, you wanted to see the stitching again. Yeah. So here are the dies for the stitching dies. There's like a whimsical um, X. Let me see if I can do close up here. There we go. Whimsical X, and then there's like a dotted or a dashed scallop, and then a dot, which I love the dot. You want just the dotted texture, and then you've got a zigzag uh, dash, then you've got your straight dash, which is typical stitch, and then you've got straight X's. So there's the whimsical X's, and then there's like straight X's. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six different patterns for stitching. I love them so much. It is such a quick, easy way to add stitching to your cards and uh, paper crafting projects. Okay. Is the mat available in white yet? Priscilla, yes it is. We have this mat in white and in black. And there's different sizes as well. But this particular mat that I'm using right now, this black one, this one is free with $65 right now. And I believe today's the last day, right Cody? Yes. Today is the last day that you can get this mat for that for free with $65 purchase. Okay, so we've got this over here drying. Well, it's dry, but it's flattening with my acrylic block, just flattening it out. Next thing that we want to do is we want to take our stamp. Let's see. We want to stamp this XOXO, and then there is a die coordinating die that will cut it out. So you've got the outline right here. Let me get this die off. You've got the outline of the XOXO to go over this stamp, or you can cut this out of like a solid color. And then you've also got the dies that you can cut out in different colors to create the XO to go over this shadow as well. So lots of different, you can stamp, you can die cut it, lots of different ways you can use this set. As a matter of fact, let me show you. Here it is cut this down. This is it cut out of the pinks paper. So XO, XO, and then here it is with the white, oops, come here, white shadow. But then, where's my stuff? Oh, here it is. Then I've got it stamped. I stamped it with my Misty, and then I used the outline die to cut out my stamped image. Does that make sense? So a lot of different ways um, that you can use this but I stamped it and then cut it out with this outline. I'm gonna put this back. So I don't know if it's hard for you to see all the little dies that come in the set because a lot of them are shadows. So a shadow for this and a shadow for this and a shadow for you as well, which I think I used right here. So you get the shadow and the scripty word die. So many dies in one set and that coordinate. Okay, so I stamped the XOXO from the stamp set in black and then I cut it out like this, or you could do the same thing with the two dies. I'm gonna use the one that I stamped, put these aside, and that's gonna go right in the center of my um, pretty inked background that I created with the glitter brushes, okay? So, after that, we're gonna to wanna to stamp our sweetheart right underneath. So I'm gonna get out that stamp, it's right here, sweetheart. Let's grab that one. So let's get out our Misty and we'll do that together. I've got my Rose Quartz Misty here with my Rose Quartz Stamp Pendable. I'm gonna open that up and we're gonna put our card down and we're gonna put our XOXO where we would want it on our card. So I wanna center it. that and I'm going to use my magnet to hold it down. Yeah, that's about where I want it, I think. Kind of like the divide here with the pink with this XO and the red with this XO. So we'll center that and then we'll take, oh, I think it needs to go a little bit more. I'm eyeballing, I got to stand up. Yeah, let's do this standing up. Okay, now I can see that better. There was a question that somebody asked a few weeks ago, do you stand up or sit down to craft? And these are times where you can see where I like to stand up because I want to get a good view over it. 
sometimes when you're looking at it from a different perspective, it looks really different. And I want to see how my card recipient's going to see it. Okay, so I'm going to put my magnet down and I know that I want my sweetheart down here below in the bottom right. And I'm just going to match up the edge of this heart with the edge of my sweetheart T. So it'll go right there and I'm going to stamp it in black so it stands out. Right there. Okay. Grab that and let's get our VersaFine black. You know Laura likes this black. I should venture out and try some other blacks, but this is one of my favorites. Just this crisp and gives a great stamp every time. All right, we'll use our stamp pendable. Beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, so I'm going to take this out. Do I have a stamp chamois? I do. So I'll just clean off my stamp. And then we're going to put this back into our stamp things. Laura likes to put things back as she uses them so that we don't lose them. So I'm going to put this back in my set here. There we go. And let's take off this. All right, so we've got that part done. Now we want to put down our XOXO. So I want to use some foam adhesive for that. So I've got lots of different sizes of foam adhesive. And guess what, friends? All of our brand new foam adhesive sizes have arrived. So if you've been on our website and you go to the new product section, you will see all of the foams. It's foam heaven at scrapbook.com. They all arrived. We've got different sizes of rolls, different sizes of squares, circles, lots of different um, widths and sizes. And it comes in the one millimeter, two millimeter and three millimeter uh, thick. So if you're looking for a thin, medium, or really thick, we've got you covered. So make sure you check that out. Right now, I'm going to use the two millimeter thick. That's the one. Here's the two millimeter thick. I'm going to use that for the back of my whole sentiment here. So let's get that on. So I'm just going to go across the back side of my card. And I want to use some scissors. There we go. Someone asked what kind of paper you were using again? The mixed media, do we have any in here that I can show? We released it last week in our live stream and it is amazing. It's my go-to, If I even if I don't do mixed media, it's my go-to for um, thick white cardstock or thick black cardstock. It's a good one. All right. I'm just using the one inch here to um, cover the back of my card because it's what I had at my on my table here and I might have to cut a piece off there to do that last edge all right here's the mixed media paper this is the white and you get 15 sheets and it's smooth mixed media paper and it is 400 gsm which is about 140 pound paper so it is really ultra thick and I love it so much as you can see it didn't even leak through well now I've got foam on there but my glitter brushes that are like water brushes did not even seep through. I'm going to need the thin. Do you have the thin two millimeter? Just so I can do one more strip here. It's like the one fourth inch foam. Is it two? There we go. Thank you, TK. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple small ones here just to get these edges done. There we go. Just a couple more and we're done with adding our foam. It's the details that matter. We want to cover the back of this. We do have A2 size um, foam adhesive as well. Perfect size, but I had already cut this down, so it's not quite A2 size. So I'm going to just use these foam rolls. Okay. Now, the next thing I did was I used the Hunky Dory mirrored paper. This stuff is awesome. It's black and it's shiny. And so I took, you get like a ton in this package too. 60 sheets. This is the Essentials Little Book Mary Matte Midnight Black. It's just a black shiny cardstock. And I'm using it for my backer because I think the black just pops really nicely on here. So I'm gonna put that down on here. Let's peel off our backer films. How's everybody doing? I've used the white paper and it was perfect for my purposes. Awesome, Kate. 
yeah, if you ordered it from the last, last week's live stream, you should have it by now, and it's awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to have to eyeball this. I'm going to go over and look, and it's, we just want a mat around all the edges. So let's, oops, don't go down yet. Let's put this down carefully. Smooth that out, and this is all dry, so I can go across it. Look at that, beautiful. And then the depth of that is beautiful with the foam adhesive. Okay, last but not least, we have our XO. So I want to pop that up too with some more foam adhesive. So I'm going to use the two millimeter thick, which I believe is our OG. That is our OG. And you know what? I'm going to use the one. Let's use one millimeter. Let's use the one millimeter thick for our XOXO just to give it a little bit of height because we put a lot of height on the back of this white one. So I'm just gonna use the one millimeter. So it's a little bit thinner, you can see here. It's not as thick as the two millimeter, but it's gonna give us a nice little height dimension look. Okay. All right, let me tell you the price on this bundle again. It is $34.99 and you're getting a ton. You're getting a um, six by eight pink paper pad. You're getting the six by eight stamp. You're gonna get the coordinating die set with it and the glitter brush on top of that. Really great price for all of those products. Okay, you're just gonna wanna make sure you cover the back of your XOXO. And I went right there. I need to cut that out because I don't like that covering that. So I'm just going to cut that. Let's see if I can do this. Maybe not. It's not going to let me, so we're going to leave it. <laughs> it looks like it's connecting to XOXO. Make sure you don't cover up your XO right there like I just did. All right, peel off our backers of this one millimeter thick. And we're just going to center this again. So you'll put that down right above your sweetheart. And commit. There you go. Now you have a cute card using the glitter brush with a little bit of dimension with the two millimeter and one millimeter foam adhesive and the cute sweetheart stamp. This is ready to go to give to someone. I love how it looks on the close-up camera here. Look at that with the glitter brush just seeping into that paper beautifully. Okay, yeah, I like the black shiny paper in the background. It does really pop, Carrie, I agree. I think it just adds a little something special to this card. Um, it makes it feel polished, so yes. Okay, now let's chat. So if you're enjoying this live stream, be sure to give this video a like, and if you're interested in any of the products that I've used, you can find them all in the description box down below. All right. MSRP on this bundle, let me grab the bundle. Get our cards back up here. The bundle is right here. We've got six by eight pinks paper pad. The colors in this paper pad are gorgeous. As a matter of fact, let me show you. This card that I created, I wanna show you how I created this really quick. I know we didn't make it, but I just wanna show you. So what I did was I took our four inch double-sided adhesive which is fabulous. This comes in so many different sizes. This is our massive one, six inch. We've got all different kinds of sizes. So if you wanna make stickers or anything, check out our double-sided adhesive. It is strong, it is the best, nothing compares to it. But I took our four inch and put it over an A2 card. And then I cut each of the papers from this pink's paper pad and cut little strips. I think I did like one eighth inch strips. And then I went in monochromatic order of the paper colors. And then I just kept sticking them down on this double-sided adhesive. So let's start again from the beginning with the lighter colors. So I'll just show you a few to show you what I did here. So we did lightest. Oops, this one's the lighter one, I think, yeah. So we did lighter and I just lined it up and went straight across and then we went the next color, 
is this light, light, light pinky fleshy color. And then this light pink color. And I just kept going all the way down with the colors that they're in order from this um, paper pad. And you just keep layering and layering and going all the way down. And then you have a whole background that you can use to cut out your dye. Where do my dyes go? Under here. So I just took this middle one, this middle die that says love. Oh, it's on here good. And I, after I had all of my strips down to create my background with my double-sided um, adhesive, I laid this right in the center and cut it out and it created this beautiful monochromatic striped love. So pretty. So I wanted to show you how I made that. And then I just took the U from the die and cut the shadow in white and then cut this out of one of the pinks from the pink paper pad, layered it on top with adhesive and put it right over my E like that. Easy, fun, and it just adds some beautiful color blocking to your card, which is so much fun. Put that over there so I don't lose that. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the bundle here. Let's move all my stuff out of the way, bear with me. I'm gonna put this back on here because I'm gonna wanna use this for something else. Put this backer on here, keep that nice for later. Okay, are we getting questions? All right. I, Tarina, that's a good question. I did not use the paper strip die, but you absolutely can. We have the strips die, and then we also have an A2 strips die that cuts the strips exactly A2 size for you. So we have a lot of things to make your life easier to cut those strips. I happen to cut them with my paper cutter in strips really quick, but you can also use the die to make it much faster. <laughs> So yes, I'm glad you asked that. That's a great question. Okay, all of this, all of this, all of this for $34.99. Six by eight pinks paper pad. Stamp with all of these stamps. I didn't even touch on all of these stamps. Let's flip that around. You get the love. You get the happy Valentine's Day. The love is in the air. Look at this love too. I wanna to show the detail on this. It's got little hearts and little lines in the letters. It's so cute and it stamps beautifully. XOXO, you have your cute little conversation hearts in the center here, little hearts, the heart balloon, and then you have the shadow. So if you wanna stamp this and then stamp a pink color or a blue color, purple, you can stamp it right in the center of your balloon to create color. You've got other little sentiments, love you so much, sweetheart, hope your heart is happy today, and then the you that goes with love you. And the die that coordinates, so you get the coordinating die as well with this. And where did my glitter brush go? This glitter brush, beautiful. We used it just now to make our card. It adds that beautiful pink shimmery glitter on your paper. Plus friends, you can save by using the code LOVE at checkout, L-O-V-E, and you get an extra percentage off your order. So exciting. So be sure to also take a look at the freebies we have right now. We have some fun freebies and one of them is this mat. Today you can get this mat with a $65 purchase, it's the um, silicone extra large project grip mat, black with white grid. It's awesome, I just used it. As you saw, it cleans up really nice. And today is the final day for these freebies. You can also get a sheet of two millimeter foam strips for free. Wait, what? I forgot about that. You get a strip of the strips of our foam. They're awesome. Do you have one of those so I can show it? This is free right now. Make sure you add this. Oh, mine's used. So this one is well loved. <laughs> it's used. We'll show it in overhead. There you go. These are strips. They're 1 8 inch thick strips. These are awesome and they're moldable. Here, we'll go to the close up camera. They're moldable. So you can, if you're making shaker cards, you can um, shape them around your shaker card, um, cut them in pieces, but you get all of these strips, one full sheet for free. And it's two millimeter thick foam adhesive grab this. It's a freebie. You can, even if you already have them, grab them. You can use more. They're the best. So make sure you take advantage of these freebies. All right. Just add them all to your cart and you are good to go. Make sure you grab this bundle. It's a great deal. I promise you'll love it. It's not just for Valentine's Day. There's a lot of sentiments on here that you can use for love and other things throughout the year. 
it's a great set. And like I said, there's so many different ways you can use it with the die and the stamp. It's not just cut out the stamp. You can use it in a bunch of different ways, like I showed. All right, there is so much inspiration in our gallery. So let's see how others have used these products um, in our gallery. So let's check it out. Okay, we have two cards to show you from Anna Comenda. First up, Anna created a background with glitter brush markers and it makes that white love pop. Look how pretty that is. She created the whole background with the glitter brush. Next from Anna is the card with stamped XOXO background and heart balloons from this set. I love that she did it in blue and black. That's so pretty. Check this out. Justin Adkins created a love you card and you could create a version of this card with the pinks paper included in this bundle. Beautiful. And how adorable is the XOXO card by Joy Baldwin. So pretty, I love the plaid in the background. And our friend Kara Weatherspoon created this pretty and pink card. That gold embossing on, peak, on the pink is mm, perfect. Love it, Carol. Check out this card from Lisa Mears. It's got it all, mixed media, shine, and a beautiful touch with the vellum behind the gold love sentiment. I love vellum behind sentiments like that. It just adds a perfect, beautiful, extra touch. All right, this is our final card. It's a shaker card by Marie Nicole with our XOXO dies, and it comes in this set. Marie also used the middle of the hearts as extra embellishments. That's really cool. That, that black on that color, mm, so pretty. Okay. Be sure to upload your projects to the gallery so that you can inspire others and have the chance to be featured in one of our live streams. We love seeing what you create, so upload to the gallery and let's check it out. All right, let's, I'm gonna sit back down again. Let's chat again. Let's chat. I wanna see who's here. I wanna talk to you all. Kathy, Jess, Patricia, Celia, it's Candy, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Star Spry, Cena, oh my goodness, Candy, lot, Wanda, lots of great friends here. You guys, SVC Fest is in one month. Team, can you believe that? One month! Coming up quick. Woohoo! Can you believe it? Have you all marked your calendars? First, I want to let you know that you can get ready for some of the SVC Fest classes now by checking out the homework section of our SVC Fest page. That's right, where is my homework? Let me grab this. All right, some instructors like Adrian and Jana have homework videos and they let you know what you should have die cut and ready to go for the classes. I think this is so helpful to have the homework ahead of time so that you can be ready when you start watching the classes during SBC Fest. And for my class, here I'll move the bundle. For my class, I have some homework PDFs that you can print up or that you can download and look at for each of the cards that I'm going to make. And you're going to want this because we do a little bit of die cutting this time. And you're going to want all of these pieces cut ahead of time. So if you're joining us for SBC Fest, make sure you get these homework um, videos and homework PDFs ready to go so that you're ahead and that you can be ready to craft with us. So I have three different homework pages for my three different cards, just so you're prepared and ready. And it's a little sneaky peek of what we're going to make. Ooh, you can kind of see that cute rabbit, florals, and oh my goodness, the carrots and florals. Stop it. So cute. Hint, hint, Easter and spring, it's all coming up. All right. So we also have something super exciting to share. Have you seen our SBC Fest shirts that we wear? Let's show them, Cody. Ah! there's our SBC that's from last SBC fest right that was more fallish and winter time um, but a lot of you have asked everyone is always asking us about our SBC fest shirts and guess what now you can make your own we have uploaded the SVG file to the SBC fest page and if you have a Cricut you can make your own shirt and if you do be sure to take a photo and tag us at scrapbook.com on Instagram and upload the photos to our gallery so that we can see it. We love seeing um, stuff like that. If you're gonna make a shirt and wear it, it's really not that complicated to make, by the way. And if you don't have a Cricut, you can always send it to a, take the file and send it to a t-shirt printing company. Very easy to do. But when you're uploading to the gallery, use the category tag, hashtag SBC Fest. You can also create SBC Fest stickers. So we'll show these right here. 
This we printed up just using our sticker project paper. We have eight and a half by 11 white sticker project paper. You can print anything, cut it out. The Cricut will help you with that as well. But these are the SBC Fest stickers and they're available on the SBC Fest page too. And you just click the link, download it and print them. I think these are in PNG files, right? Yes. Yeah, PNG files. And someone even said, um, they talked about iron-ons. You could take like that file oh, yeah. and just yep. make an iron-on. You can create an iron-on with this too. I think you flip it or mirror it in the, in the Cricut or whatever you're using and do the iron-on process. Yep, lots of different things. And if you are struggling and you don't know um, how to use some of the files for Cricut or whatever, you can always Google or YouTube. There are so many tutorials out there on how to use Cricut files and um, PNG files. So don't be afraid to, to do a little uh, searching if you really want to, to use these. And then we'll try and help you as best we can as well. All right, yes, I need to print it for my planner as well. I love collecting these, so now we can do it ourselves, which I'm so excited about. And you can resize them too if you want them bigger or smaller, which is nice, so I've got a couple small. And don't you love the butterflies? They're so pretty. The coloring this year is so exciting and pretty. I love it. Okay. Oh, there were some questions. Oh, someone's saying there was not an SVG. There's definitely an SVG file in there, is there? Yes. Maybe we can help Mary um, figure that out. There should be an SVG file as well. It might be, is it a separate link or is it the same link as the PNG? They're two separate links. They're two separate links, okay. All right, what were you gonna say, Cody? Um, there were a few questions. Okay. Um, can you show the different mats? Because I think some people were asking if the white mat, when they were referring to the white mat, they're talking about the white workspace mat. Oh, and they're the asking one if that was available. Here. Yeah. Okay, okay, so let me move my cards here. So right now I have the extra large project grip mat, which is in black. So I'm gonna put this up here. And this up here. Okay, so this is the extra large project grip mat and it's silicone and it cleans up nicely and it folds up nicely. It's like, I mean, it's silicone, look at that. It's just easy that to put like away. looked like magic. Did it look like magic? <laughs> and then this mat right here, you might wanna do a front camera just so I can show it. Yeah, there we go. This is our, our workspace mat and it's like a huge self-healing mat. Now we can do the side, the side camera because you can really see it, Cody. You can see how thick it is. This is our workspace mat and it's more like a self-healing mat. So you can use blades and other things with it and it will not damage your table. And I love this one as well because I'm constantly making a mess and it cleans up really nice as well. We have this in black and in this white and gray grid. So make sure you check that out. And then we also have the Project Grit mats. Do I have some up here? And the white is coming soon. The white, um, the white, uh, so, oh, this one right here. Yes, the white, the white um, workspace mat is coming soon. But we had the black one in stock. If you want black and white, I've used the black and white before too a lot, but this white one is just mm, so pretty. Okay, so Project Grit mat right now, this large one that I just had out on my table with the grids, this one is free with $65 purchase, two day only. This is the last day. So if you really want this mat, grab it for free with your purchase but I wanna show you a few of the other Project Grit mats. This is our OG mat. This is our 13 by 13 inch, just plain white OG mat, and it sticks to your table. And then it has this side as well that holds your um, inks in place that are not gonna move. So this is awesome. This is a 13 by 13 small one. And they, again, just roll up nicely. And then this one is our 13 by 13 black, 14 by 14. Is it 14? Okay, so this one's 14 by 14, I apologize. And it's black, which is nice if you don't wanna show staining or anything if you're doing a lot of mixed media stuff. Again, these clean up great in the sink. And then this is our white extra large workspace mat. It's just like that black one that I was using originally to do our crafts on, but it comes in white. So you just roll it out and it's white with the gray grid. So you can choose to use the white or the black. And this was um, designed and intended to make a mess on and to have an easy cleanup and then just move it out of your workspace so that you can move on to the next project. So lots of different sizes, but the big black one, this one, 
is the one that you get free today with purchase. Okay. Make Hope sure that you add it to your cart. Add it to your cart. All right. So now I'm going to move them out of my way. All right. If you're just joining us, I want to share with you what's in this bundle. Okay. You're getting the Love You XO stamp set, large stamp set, six by eight. The coordinating die set that comes with it, lots of dies. They are double in here, so they have some uh, shadows and then the inside. And then you're also getting the six by eight paper pad. All of these beautiful monochromatic pinks in one set, six by eight is such a great size to be working with. And then you're getting this pretty pink glitter brush. So all of this, the MSRP is $73, but right now you can get it for $34.99. It's for a limited time or while supplies last. Okay. So I'm just going to show the cards again one more time, just so you can see. Can you show that black paper again? Black paper. Yes, that's the hunky dory. This is the hunky dory black mirror miri card essentials essential little book miri mats midnight black i'm getting a ton of here 60 sheets don't they have packages with less or is i don't know this is a lot this is awesome but it's that shiny card stock look at that shine so pretty and it looks so good on the back of our card that we created right here it just gives it a little bit of polished pretty shine you can see it right there it looks so pretty so yeah grab this you want some black shiny paper and then let's just go through our cards we made this pretty card with the glitter brushes and then you can stamp those um, balloons those heart balloons and then use the glitter brush to color them in this is using all the pinks paper in a monochromatic way using the double-sided adhesive with strips and then using the die to cut it out then I used all the XO's XO's from the die set in the pink colors and this sentiment, hope your heart is happy today. Let's see what else have we got. And then we've got this one where we use the stitching as well on the hearts across with the stamp, love you so much, and the one millimeter thick foam adhesive behind here. So just give a little pop. All right. Those are all the cards we created today using this bundle set plus all the beautiful cards that were shared with us in the gallery. This is a great deal. This is just in time for love month and for all of your love paper crafting projects for the year. This can be used in so many ways. So make sure you grab it and don't forget to grab your freebies. Lots of freebies happening um, at scrapbook.com right now. Thank you all so much for joining us today. I love seeing all the friends here. To make sure that you don't miss our next deal, make sure you're signed up for our VIP text. Give this video a thumbs up so others can find these crafting deals and crafting inspiration as well. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right. I just want to say goodbye. Thank you. Isn't this a fun sweater? It's so fun for Valentine's Day. I love it. It's busy, but I love it. And did you see the earrings? We've got some hearts going on. All right, friends. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Christy, Sandy, Patricia. Oh my goodness, so many friends. Thank you all so much. We are so grateful that you join us and hang out with us every week. We have so much fun with you. I hope we answered all of your questions. Um, we'll be here next week. We absolutely will. So take care. Until then, we will see you all next Thursday. Bye-bye. Who is ready to get crafty and join the ultimate paper crafting event? SBC Fest by Scrapbook.com is a virtual two-day event for all crafters. So whether you're a seasoned crafter or just starting out, there's something for you to learn. Let's introduce you to our next round of instructors. Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley. Hola, hola, soy Obed Manchet. Ralph Tindall here. I'm Jada Eubank. I'm Adrienne Bozzi. I'm Nikki Baxley. I'm Angelica Conrad. I'm Natasha. And I'm Tanya Brooks. I am Megan Andrew, and I am so, so excited, excited to, to be joining Scrapbook.com for SBC Fest. What is SBC Fest? It is a two-day virtual paper crafting event where we'll be card making, scrapbooking, and sharing all kinds of tips, tricks, fun, exciting ideas, prizes, live chat. It's going to be so much fun. Mark your calendars and join us March 8th and 9th 
for learning, chatting, and prizes. The best part is it's completely free. I hope you'll join me for this free event. We have lots of fun planned for you. And did I mention it's free? What are you waiting for? Sign up now and join me for scrapbook.com's SBC Fest. Mark your calendars for March 8th and 9th, and we'll see you there. See you there. Hope to see you there. When shopping for your SBC Fest supplies, use the code SBCFest4 at checkout to save. And to learn more about SBC Fest, visit scrapbook.com slash SBCFest.